What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fitness Realty channel. My name is TJ McClelland, and I'm the broker. I'm super excited to share all the things we have planned with you. So sit back, strap in, and let's have some fun. What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? Hey, this is episode 55. I just am so shocked that we're at episode 55. I know I say that every time we get onto a podcast, but honestly, uh, I didn't actually think we would make it this far. So we have been running our podcast once a week uh, for a long, long time. So I just really want to say thanks to everyone out there that's watching our episodes. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, but episode 55 is going to be all about how to overcome a creative block. Um, so that's kind of crazy, right? I mean, there are a lot of people that say, oh, I have writer's block. I have a creative block. Um, I have this wall that I can't get torn down um, or they can't push through the wall. Um, and I feel like walls like that kind of come into our lives at different stages at different times in uh, a lot of different aspects of our lives. So one thing that um, I want to say that is a block that happens uh, often with people is in fitness. So in their physical fitness um, or maybe in their stretching routines, um, I know that I've kind of hit a wall in my stretching routine and I just se can't seem to get over this wall. Um, but what I want to say there is that these walls come to either make sure that we have the consistency in our life to, to break through that um, or that we're putting in the, uh, enough time and effort to get through that or there's something else that kind of comes around and sometimes that our bodies need a shift in uh, whatever we're training in or maybe um, it's not a shift, but maybe we need to get smarter about what we're doing with our body or uh, with our mind. So one thing that I want to throw out there with my stretching and, and I've had all these walls happen or I've had walls happen with my stretching uh, already in the past, but I kind of at, am at another uh, uh, hurdle with that stretching routine. So I just can't seem to find the I can't or not find I can't seem to get past a certain point with my stretching um, because my either my body is just so stinking tight or maybe I'm not putting in the right effort um, so I did download an app that's called stretch it uh, stretch it yeah um, and it's got a subscription fee to it so I'm getting ready to do the subscription fee to get into uh, this class that's called splits for beginners so I I'm excited to try that out and I'm also excited to see if that education and knowledge piece can help me break through the wall that I'm that I'm at so one thing that I want to make mention here is that one of the ways to break through one of those walls is to gain more knowledge so if that is a writer's block maybe gaining more knowledge through reading so maybe it's that you don't have the words in your mind that you want to put down for whatever you're writing about um, reading other people's works or reading other things can help put the words in your mind that you're looking for. Um, and I find that a lot of times that that mental block can be over uh, overcome with knowledge. So maybe it's reading, talking to people, uh, having conversations with people, um, going to a class. Maybe it's finding somebody that's uh, got the same thing that you're trying to achieve. And asking them like how did you get over this or how did you overcome this uh, block or um, maybe it's just hey did you ever run into this and how did you uh, adapt that to your lifestyle so I find conversations actually help a lot with that block uh, maybe even more so than just finding some knowledge because those conversations with people that may have the knowledge you're seeking may be able to point you in that right direction so I know that's a lot to unpack, right? So let's kind of go over, uh, do a little quick overview of it. So if you're having a fitness block, let's say you just can't hit a certain lift, um, or maybe you want to increase your lifts, uh, maybe it's time to hire a coach. That coach might be the person to get you over that. So that would be that gaining knowledge piece, right? So maybe you're just putting in a lot of the same effort that you always do, but maybe it's time to actually put in effort that is a little different than what you're doing. Uh, one other way you can get those uh, pieces of knowledge, of course, is to read, read other people's work. So we, we mentioned that as well. So that overview would be maybe hire a coach, read some other things, have conversations with other people. Um, and so that's how I overcome creative blocks. 
Um, I won't lie. Sometimes that when I have my creative block, though, so this is just me personally and in my personal life, when I have a creative block, let's say I'm sitting down and I'm trying to think about what kind of podcasts I should make, uh, because there are a lot of podcasts we have made, and none of them have been the same material other than uh, when we have people from the same industry uh, on our podcast. Of course, that's very similar stuff. So in my personal life, with my overcoming my creative blocks, um, let's take, for instance, those uh, podcast episodes like I was talking about. So when we're talking about those podcast episodes, when I'm looking to get into a creative mode, sometimes I just go on and I say, what have other people made podcasts about? Right? Sometimes it's not about reinventing the wheel and making the uh, or designing a new wheel. Maybe it's just saying, hey, how did this person have great success and achieve great success with their podcast? And then I try to um, tailor some of the podcasts to what I think our clients and our listeners want to hear. So that's kind of me in a nutshell. One more thing that I want to throw out there is that. Uh, when I feel like I'm in a creative block, sometimes that just feels like a negative spiral for me. And so sometimes I just want to go out there and do something positive. So maybe that's helping somebody else, uh, helping them get a new deal under contract or teaching them something about real estate. Or maybe it's just helping them uh, do something with their house. Or maybe it's just hanging out with them if they want to have um, a better day. Maybe it's just sharing a smile, right? Um, when we're in the service of our, our fellow men uh, and women, I mean, that, that is just something that's spectacular. And so I know I went off on a tangent about that, but I do feel like that helps open our minds to what we want to do. And that really does help. So anyway, that's a long story short about trying to overcome creative blocks. Um, I hope you guys get something out of that. I know we'll be snippet. Uh, we'll be having snippets from this episode because I did kind of just unpack all of this crazy amount of stuff to do uh, to get over creative blocks. So I hope you guys can take something away from that. All right. Well, I love you guys. And I really want to say how appreciative of uh, you guys I am. Um, you guys are just so amazing. And thank you for sticking it out with us all the time. I love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for supporting us. We'll see you next time, and we love you. Later.